how to use that thing. So human culture, this Plato's inventor, he understood how people felt, he changed how people behave. And so just understanding and empathy for your target audience, which is a rare thing in advertising, uh, put that into the brain and that helps. So that you put your brain in that If you put LSD in your brain, I've, I've, never, I've never tried. Uh, but I imagine that's quite interesting what will come out of your brain at that point. The main reason I'm telling you is because it was synthesized by Sandoz Labs, which is my surname. So it's a nice way of saying, hey, that's my name, introduce myself. Uh, I always like this as a healthy decision. You know, uh, maybe I should, I have that on my card. Um, synthesized, like the guy that synthesized this didn't know what he'd done. If you look it up on Wikipedia, there's a guy working at Sandoz Labs, basically synthesized LSD, took a bit, got on his bicycle, and then fell off and had a bit of a, bit of a trip on his way home. No idea what he'd done. Um, and it's a nice story. Anyway, uh, that's my name, Sandoz, Andy Sandoz, hello. Um, I thought I'd introduce myself in the middle of the talk. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's all been said, really. I now, I, I was an entrepreneur, startup y digital type guy, and now I find myself the ECD of a network agency, which is an interesting river, I think, you know. And um, people say things like, oh, how did you plan your career? I was like, I didn't plan a career. I got in a river, and the river was small, and then it got bigger, and it sped up, and it flows. And I think that's a creative journey, right? You just get in the water, and you go. So it taught me this, that... Creativity is just connected things. It's like apparently our brain, one of our successes is we can hold two ideas in our head at any one time, which means that you can hold an idea about marmalade and an idea about fast cars and put them together and come out with a new idea. And that's the premise of human creativity. So I said this, creativity is just connecting things. Fortunately, when I Googled it, I found out Steve Jobs also said it, which is me fucked, because it'll always be his quote. But um, it's true, whenever I say it, it's just about putting two ideas together. It's not that complicated when you think about it. It's just about your brain connecting things. Um, thank you. So, so learning number one in this, mistakes are really important in our game. So you can get mistakes many, many ways, but certainly being hungover uh, will give you those mistakes. And um, I think the concept of failing has been quite big in creative industries for a while. I have a different take on it. We have... Um, don't fuck it up, written really big in our office. Um, partly because it's fun to say, but in truth is what it tells you is have something fuck upable in your work, but don't let it fuck up because then it's just wrong. And so for me, like I don't want failure. It's okay to fail, but try really hard not to. But mistakes are really important in the creative process. The errors and the mistakes that you make when you're having ideas, that is the creative process. Um, learning number two, then, what you put in your brain matters. So if you put alcohol in your brain, it goes a bit nuts up. You know that. And then there's a benefit, I found, in being hungover. But then if you put all kinds of other things in your brain as well, you can put all kinds of information, references, um, other people's ideas, other people's works, cultural provocations. I think both of the um, examples that, um, Michael, you referenced were human-centric. This creative, in both of he understood how people felt to change how people behaved. And so just understanding and empathy for your target audience, which is a rare thing in advertising, uh, put that into your brain and that helps. So what you put in your brain matters.